But right now, we're keeping an eye on this beautiful spread because we're talking grilling ideas with our friend Kelly Trezino from BJ's. Thank you so much for having me again today. We love having you, and you've got some great ideas. It's all very fresh, very colorful. What are we starting with? Well, we're starting with seafood skewers. It's summertime, and everyone's out at the grill, and yep. they want to do something different for dads, for grads. So today, we're going to do some seafood skewers. We have um, salmon, scallops, and shrimp. We Yummy. made a simple marinade with um, barbecue sauce and lemon juice, marinated for a half an hour, and then get it on your skewers and put it in the grill. Well, it's such a nice option. You know, you think, what are we going to put on the grill? A burger, oh, dogs, and this, this is, is so easy. easy. Absolutely. And one thing that's really important that we all forget is we have to soak our wooden skewers. Otherwise, they catch fire and fall apart on the grill. 20 oh. to 30 minutes in water before you put them on the grill. Did you know that, Jennifer? Oh, well, that's why I keep burning them. <laughs> well, there you go. Awesome. The brilliance of being on television. Neither of us knew that. That's why she's had all these fires. <laughs> okay, so soak them, soak them, soak them. Absolutely. Next up is the peppers. They're spectacular, just cool, cut in half with a little bit of cheese inside, but to deepen the flavor, we put them on the grill, charred them up. Nice, melty cheese. They're wonderful. Those are delicious. And those are these just little, uh, what yep, are you calling them? Mini a sweet peppers. Yeah, those are the new thing. I love those. And they look Absolutely. pretty, too. Absolutely. All right, moving on to a delicious drink, you say. Watermelon Agua Fresca. Basically, that. what we need to do is yeah. put four cups of watermelon in your blender, blend it until it's smooth, mm -hmm. then mix in your iced tea. It's three cups of water and three quarter cup iced tea mix. Mm -hmm. Get it in your pitcher, let it refrigerate for about an hour to blend the flavors. I think we have this recipe on the website too. Absolutely. Which is great. Absolutely. Would you like to try this? Absolutely. I think you're going to like it. I'm sure I will. Let's see. Wow, that is good. Isn't it wonderful? Yes. It's very refreshing for summer. And you could have a child's beverage or you could add an adult beverage Absolutely. to this. Absolutely. It tastes great as an adult beverage. I'm sure it does. All right, what else you got for us? Well, we have a wonderful fruit platter. This holds really nicely in the summer. Mm -hmm. So you can put this out on the table while you're grilling out. We have um, a cupcake platter here, a small cake advertising that it's barbecue time. Wonderful. Next weekend's Father's Day. Summer. I, I think we're going to do the old. Now, now back to the grilling thing. I'm sorry, Absolutely. I'm going back to the grilling. Quite thing. all right. So you cook all your seafood first, and then you add your vegetables, or no? The vegetables generally take a little bit longer, so okay. I would put the vegetables on first, and then put the seafood on. The seafood's usually only three to four minutes per side. Gotcha. But the vegetables no. to get them a little softer take a little bit longer. Wonderful. Well, it all this looks so delicious, good. and it's it's drawing a crowd already. It's it's <laughs> plus, I love the s'mores kit over oh, there. Oh yeah. Easy to make the s'mores. And that's for your grill. It's for your gas grill. 